Right, so, where have we been? Well, we send videos every Friday and we didn't realise how much of a task that would actually be. And then uni got in the way and then, well, um, the coronavirus happened. This evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Obviously now me and Jack are in two separate houses so we can't make videos in person together. But that got me thinking, how can you as a photographer and filmmaker stay creative in lockdown? Let's find out. Oh. One good way is use what you've got. I'm lucky that I've got a really nice back garden. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use this back garden for photography, B-roll, everything I can milk it for, taking pictures of the flowers, the plants, the bugs, my dogs, the, the rusty tools we have against the brick wall background that's behind me. Use exactly what you've got in your house area to create things that you wouldn't usually create. So I spent the majority of today getting B-roll from the garden and getting some photos from the garden. And so far, I think it's looked all right. But let's have a look at it now. enough for you, there's other things you can do. Another good thing to do is to go into your Lightroom. How many photos do you have in your Lightroom that you've just never touched? For me it's probably thousands. There are so many photos that I've just never touched. Either I've taken them, forgotten about them, or taken them, and at the time of taking them I thought, these aren't good at all. So go back to those photos. Go back to the photos you thought weren't so good. See if you like them now. If not, how can you change them so you like them now? How can you edit them in a way that makes you like them? Look and see if there's any photos that you've forgotten about. Some of my best photos are from shoots where I've taken thousands of photos and then just forgotten about one or two. And those one or two gems then turn out to be some of the best photos I've ever taken. And that leads me on to my next point. Finally, I think another brilliant thing to do is, especially if you don't have a garden, you live in a flat, maybe you don't have enough space to do any of the things I've talked about, product photography. What's brilliant about product photography is you can build a little set in a corner of a, of a tiny little room and light it in a way that makes it look amazing. I did some product photography about two months ago with Dan, here's some of that now. Um, and all we did was have a little space in his living room, get some wooden boards and make it into like a square and use a skateboard to slowly push in. This is easy to do. It is probably some of the cheapest photography that you can do. All you need is a couple of lights and a camera and a product you want to take a picture of. And you can get some amazing results just from that, just from the cheapest stuff. I mean, look at this stuff we've done. It's, it was cheap, it was easy and it looks amazing. So if you don't have much space, think about trying some product photography. It can really stretch you as a photographer and it can really test out your lighting skills as well as your set building skills in a way. It's a very, very good thing to try and do. And that is just a couple of ways that I think you can stay creative while in lockdown. Obviously these are very hard times at the moment. Nobody really knows what's going on, but it's really important to Stay creative and keep practicing your craft to get better at what you're doing. If I can leave off by saying one thing, it's this. Take this time where you've got nothing else to do to refine skills that maybe you aren't that good at. If you're not good at editing, maybe learn some more editing skills. If you want to learn a new software like After Effects, take this time to learn that. If you want to improve your B-roll like me, go out and film as much as you can. Even if it's not that good, like in this video, it wasn't great. Just go out and learn. This is the only time you will have for a long time where you have nothing else to do but learn new skills and maybe do a little bit of work on the side. That's kind of important. 
If you guys have any other ideas about how to keep yourself creative, put them in the comments. I'd love to read through them because there's so much more stuff than just this. This is the stuff that immediately comes to mind for me. Next week, we've got a video with Jack and Dan planned. So uh, we'll see you then.